Allo tout le monde, bienvenue sur chaîne en parler créole. Dans vidéo ça, je suis vraiment excité pour me porter pour nous parce que euh um, fait cette fond vidéo côté m'a critiquer nèg haïtien qui m'a dit nous pas protéger femme Haïti, nous pas protéger pays a. Nous en bas occupation. Même dit qui j'aime faire préjuger nous sans pas nous un modèle, sans pas nous exemple de qui garçon m'ouais devant j'aime que me regarder comme garçon comme nèg vanyan et mes vidéos à me faire pour nous il te prend mon pile temps te fait avec tout cœur avec tout l'amour et me faire vidéo ça pour m'encourager nous pour nous déempêcher nous pour nous débrouiller nous pour nous porter changement en Haïti pour nous bail femme mieux protection je vidéo à remen partager moi mais nous toutes moi mais nous toutes moi mais Haïti vient nous libérer pays à teaches uh, us that our own mind has to be changed. We have to change our uh, mind about ourselves. In what way? Well, so he uh, teaches us the importance of moral reformation, uh, a knowledge of self. And, uh, for instance, the average so-called Negro, he doesn't think that he can uh, go into business and provide jobs for himself. And because of this, he thinks that he can only get a job from the white man, or he can only get clothes from the white man, or he can only get food from the white man. And we who follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad are taught that uh, the same thing that the white man has done for himself and his kind, uh, if our people could uh, be uh, wrecked, if, they could, if we could be cured of our slave mentality that was uh, indoctrinated into us during slavery, we would realize that just as the white man can do these things for himself and his kind, we can get together in unity and harmony and do the same thing for ourselves and our kind. The white man has... Uh, 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 in, has uh, bred our he brainwashed the so-called Negro to the point of uh, believing in white supremacy so much that today some Negroes think that they're not making progress or they don't have anything unless they're living in a white neighborhood, unless they have the white man's neighborhood, mm -hmm. uh, a, a seat in the white man's school or a, a position on the white man's job and they even have taken it so far they don't think they're successful unless, in, in life unless they have a white w woman as a wife. They tried to make it appear to my brother that I was insane. But on a program in Chicago called Hotline, that's moder moderated by Wesley South, John Ali, the national secretary, admitted, uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, one of these days last week, that they absolutely were going to kill me. What you get out of the you take to protect yourself from this threat? I take no steps. I have a rifle. If anybody comes to my house without a good reason, I, I intend to try and use it. Uh, and that's all. Right now? No, I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. I have pocket in my Sunday, Colonel Lai Abuji, Nai Hong Nimi, Samangetan Mario, Poke. Can you go on money on Sunday, Poke Ginka, Pirende, Kanga Chibunta, Pulguinende, Hansimajo? Kurun Kamja is a good day. Nega, Kumgangas and Chanomus of the Miguai Drago, Sole Hende, Kamja and Taring Yochima, Kazin Lunis of Purinago, Kuja opens a tunnel podium also. Alma <laughs> 우리 시아버지 얘기를 통해서 미국 놈들이 얼마나 우리 인민들에게 어 재난과 불행을 들추는 이 무수들인가 하는 것을 알게 되었고 또 좀야 우리 인민이 어 미국 놈들한테 어 당하는 그 모든 어그 모든 것들이 어 앞으로 대풀이 되지 말아야 되겠다는 거 우리는 어쨌든 미국 놈들을 이 땅에서 무조건 소멸해야 되겠다는 그런 각오를 가지고 살며 일하고 있습니다.
a, um, a character. They want to be cartoons. Mm -hmm. But if they really wanted to do something, they was that tough. All right, let's start our own country. Let's start a revolution. Let's get out of here. Let's do something. But they don't want to do that. They want to pimp our communities and, and portray this image that they know we all can't survive. And make and a lot of this music, it's only talking, it's only talking about the suppressed rising, I mean the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all. That's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So if only people that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. Today, every every young black male needs to be physically inclined and military mind. And this is part of the military mind. The soldiers are out there. I would rather I would rather tell a young black man to um, educate his mind, arm yourself, and be free and, and defend yourself. Mise ak la paix, c'est Haïti ak Cédras, youn pa vle welot. Le gen la ge nan vant, pa gen la paix nan tet. Political table that is one percent of the population du revenu national has more than 45 percent of the national revenue 1.8 doctors are available for each 10,000 inhabitants 1.9 nurses for each 10,000 inhabitants in our 56 so-called hospitals there is not even as much as two beds for 1,000 people, only 1.5, 59 people, 59 urban dwellers and 3% rural dwellers have access to drinking water, 85% um, of illiteracy. Despite the controversy which has surrounded the idea of an embargo, the people of Haiti would like to repeat yes to an embargo. Let there be finally a real, complete and total embargo. Let us have a real, total and complete embargo at last. Secondly, let us put a stop to the flood of new weapons being pumped continually into Haiti. Thirdly, if a total blockade is required to achieve this, the Haitian people will welcome it. Article 42.3 of the Republic of Haiti's Constitution stipulates that, and I quote, abuses, violences and crimes perpetrated against a civilian by a military functionary in the exercise of his functions is something to be dealt with by the tribunals of common law. In less than one year, 3,000 people have been assassinated, more than 40,000 political refugees, hundreds of thousands of citizens have fled through the country, more than a hundred of journalists have been fallen victim to the terror of the military. The press has been muzzled. Priests have been arrested, have been beaten up and have been imprisoned. Ms. Monsignor Willy Romulus, whose life is in danger, as well as priests and nuns and members of the ecclesiastical communities, fundamentalists or tileglis, are constantly being persecuted. Uh, rural organizations, uh, popular or, uh, socio-professional and uh, trade union organizations are systematically taken apart or targeted. Many parliamentarians have been persecuted. One deputy was assassinated in cold blood. Uh, blood is flowing. The corpses are being heaped up. Never has Haiti had visited upon it such a ferocious and bloody dictatorship. Rejected by all states of the world, nevertheless, these criminals have been recognized by the Vatican. The only state... يجي يشوف حالتنا يشوف أولادنا كيف مرتمين في شيء في الصوف قاعدين على البلاط لا في فلاش ولا أكل ولا مي ولا كهرباء هذه حياة هذه أربع حصار هذا أكبر حصار هذا أعظم حصار لأس حقيقي بقول يعني يشوفنا يشوفنا كيف عايشين هنا مرميين لا منروح منلعب ولا منضحك ولا منتعلم ولا منحضر برامج أطفال بفتح التلفزيون بلاقي كله تشيع جنازات وطخ وموت وحرب دبابات و... واشتياح 
بلقيت برامج اطفال اتشلى اتعلم منهم بلقيت رسوم متحركة العاب اتفرج علينا اتشلى كل تشييد جنازات ولا حاملين شيء وبطخه احنا هنا لا في اكل ولا مي ولا شرب ولا ولا اشي انا احنا هنا مرميين زي الشحابين مرميين شوفوا الشعب الثاني كيف قاعد وبيلعب وبيضحك وبفرح احنا علينا حصار تقريبا سنتين حصار علينا ولا بناكل ولا بنشرب ولا ولا اشي بيسوونا ولا بج ولا بفتح المعابر حتى يعبرنا اكل او اشياء Which version of your life would you like to see for the closing chapter? Version one, your grandfather, many children, the benevolent, benevolent patriarch, loved by the people, you die in bed, it's a, well, a great life. Or, the world, uh, the new world order happens, they throw Fidel in chains, with billions of people watching, you give the most eloquent defense of human rights and dignity ever heard, what you would do, version one or version two? Neither of the two. Secondo io tratto sempre di pensare con il massimo di razionalità. Y tengo un concepto de la relatividad de la gloria. Mire, Martí expresó una frase. Toda la gloria del mundo cabe en un grano de Nunca me he dedicado a eso a pensar como yo I have never been thinking about vea. how I want to be remembered. Lector Does the prospect of assassination worry you at all or do you ignore that concern? Rather. Does the possibility of uh, an attack on you by maybe people here but all people outside, does that worry you? No, I am not afraid. I am not uh, afraid. afraid. Sorry. I'm not afraid of this action. It doesn't matter. Even when the greatest power on earth, uh, the United States, has, or many of its senior officials have uh, declared that uh, they would uh, like to see you finished. Alihal. <laughs> We just see that as part of American terrorist policies. Policies which are hostile to the people. That's why we express our solidarity with the colonial peoples of so-called Portuguese Guinea, Angola and Mozambique who have been massacred for the crime of demanding their freedom. And we are prepared to help them to the extent of our ability in accordance with the Cairo Declaration. La brutal política del apartheid se aplica ante los ojos. The brutal policy of apartheid is being carried out before the eyes of the whole world. The peoples of Africa are being compelled to tolerate in that continent the concept, still official, of the superiority of one race over another. And in the name of that racial superiority, the murder of people with impunity. Can the United Nations do nothing to prevent this? Who use the name of the United Nations to commit the murder of Lumumba today in the name of the defense of the white race are assassinating thousands of Congolese. How can one forget how the hope that Patrice Lumumba placed in the United Nations was betrayed. How can one forget the machinations and maneuvers which followed in the wake of the occupation of that country by United Nations troops under whose auspices the assassins of this great African patriot acted with impunity. Western civilization disguises 
under its showy front a scene of hyenas and of jackals. That is the only name that can be applied to those who have gone to fulfill humanitarian tasks in the Congo. Bloodthirsty butchers who feed on helpless people. That is what imperialism does to men. That is what marks the white imperialists. The free men of the world must be prepared to avenge the crime committed in the Congo. But we know the mentality of United States rulers. They want to make us pay a very high price for that peace. We reply that that price cannot go beyond the bounds of human dignity. But it must be clearly established that the government of the United States is not the champion of freedom, but rather the perpetrator of exploitation and oppression of the peoples of the world and of a large part of its own population. Cuba, a free and sovereign state with no chains binding it to anyone, with no foreign investments on its territory, with no proconsuls orienting its policy, can speak proudly in this assembly, proving the justice of the phrase by which we will always be remembered. Free territory of America. <laughs>